Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at SPY and QQQ and then tech stocks that is Microsoft, Apple, Meta, Netflix, Google and Amazon. If you're also interested in Tesla, Nvidia, Semiconductors, that is AMD, ARM, SMCI, Micron, Broadcom, Palantir, CrowdStrike, all of that I have talked about on my channel over this weekend. Check those videos out if you are interested, all right? Now, so I wanna start off with Microsoft first because then we'll make our way into the indexes um, because pretty much these stocks moves the indices, right? So, all right, there's an interesting take on Microsoft here. Now we did lose some pivots on Microsoft. We are on the daily interval, but what we are seeing is that still holding above 20 days moving average and 200 days moving average. Now. At this, this point, it's important that if Microsoft needs to continue higher, well, at least we need to close a day above 417 and 59 cents. But is this a good pivot that can we continue higher, right? For that, we'll have to go on the hourly interval for Microsoft. Now, we do have a deeper pullback and that's where I'm saying that we need to get above 417 and 57 cents. So far, we also got a support at 20 days moving average with a confluence of 200 hours moving average. But on the intraday, we have a lower high on going. So if Microsoft wants to continue holding the pivots on the daily interval, it needs to get above 417 and 57 and 57 cents close a day above it take out this previous pivot and make a again a higher high like taking out a previous uh, area of the pivot is what we need otherwise if we lose 200 hours moving average at this point and we also lose the 20 days moving average you know um then I would say we still have a chance that Microsoft can hold a pivot here, but right now it's through the it's going through the pullback and pivot times, okay? So you'll have to see it get above those 20 and 200 days moving average, and then you know eventually um, we need to make a pivot confirm itself first to the upside, and for that level to the upside from where the price is is 417 and 67 cents area, right? So that's that. Let's take a look at Apple. So Apple continues to stay strong, all right? It continues to stay strong. Um, last day we had a green candle. After this red candle, I was expecting maybe we'll see much more pullback at least to 20 and 50. Remember until then structure will still technically remain in an uptrend, all right? But let's go to the hourly interval and that's where we can talk about and uh, the price structure so yes uh, the way the apple apple has closed when the pre-market it went up pullbacks just got bought back up on this at this point if we stay above 20 and 50 hours moving average or even the level of 225 this may re still remain strong so yes apple is choosing to remain strong pullbacks on this are just getting bought back up meta and yes so apple is guys overall is strong and can stay up there Meta showing some again consolidation at the top here right but structure on this hasn't turned bearish so if I also turn on my this structural indicator that is junior trader easy day and swing trading indicator if you need access also to my tools links are in the description below of this video now uh, this is where we are still just into a pullback zone guys this is not a bearish structure some weakness may come structure may also a little bit break to the downside early on um but right now this is just it hasn't broken the structure yet though right so but this is where it may start to break that 523 and 50 cents below and once we lose that you are then watching 20 and 50 days moving average let's go to the hourly interval to talk more about it on the intraday level from here on what can we be expecting so we do have a lower pivot in formation. If Meta stays below 531 and 44 cents, it's just can continue lower. The next play though, I would say if it loses 200 hours moving average, then that cool off may continue to 515 or 20 days moving average on the daily interval. So losing 527 and 200 hours moving average, 
I would, you know, this is where we have, you know, strong support pivot also sitting. So, sorry, 523 and 64 cents is the last line of defense. I would say at least in this intraday cool offs that may continue then and some break of the structure, right? So, yeah, 523 and 58 cents. So, that's the level you are watching. If you want to continue up from here, at least let Meta get above 531 and 45 cents. Only above that, I see some more from here on only continuation to the upside. Otherwise, be prepared for a little bit of a pullback close to 20 days moving average, at least the first area. Netflix. So Netflix cooling off um, after testing all time highs, but guys, this is not a bearish structure. This is just technically a pullback. Any pullback until even 664 is just going to be a pullback. Intraday, let's take a look at what is it telling us. What are the levels to watch? So seems like to me intraday this may continue up um, for that you are watching if on Monday it breaks above 690 area almost then is yeah guys it's just gonna continue higher so yeah it's that's an intraday as well play downside play I don't want to touch it to the downside right now the way this price action is coming strong here yeah yep and again like if it rejects at 690 it may continue a little bit lower as well but uh breaking six seven sorry 679 right now seems like the way these two hourly candle pivots have come if it in the pre-market is weak down here then sure things may turn around otherwise no this seems like may act as a support this 679 just and I, again if we lose this level then sure we'll come down to close to this blue box zone but as I'm saying, until those areas like eventually structure is still bullish, those are just going to result in pullbacks on the overall structure on the daily structure is not breaking even until 664 and 57 cents. I mean, we, we have this strong potential of getting bought back up over there. Google. So Google is an interesting one. It lost a pivot one of the days, but then it regained. So uh, technically it's still remained in higher highs higher lows and if i pull on put on the structure on this that still though constituted just as a pullback but um it's still remaining strong still remaining in the bullish structure um yeah seems like yeah, that pivot continues to hold like uh, this particular pivot this level of 164 uh, with this particular area so it seems like yeah things are still looking good yeah and this is what i you know mentioned that you know um if you had a stop loss prior over here when i was talking about this zone because i talked about if we come back up here there's a potential will slow down sell off at this previous pivots and then there's a potential will form a pivot at this blue box we got that pivot once we got above 164 um, this is what I was looking for next pivot at this level 164 I do see I do notice and note that we did sell off below a little bit of that pivot but we didn't quite continue below so pivot still continued to hold at that level and we are staying bullish right so but yeah this is where technically you know some profits would have been taken because it's in a stop loss zone so I understand and then but when we are above it you can re-enter but you know trading that's what trading is all about right like you still have to fit in the structure and stay with the structure and eventually though we stayed above 200 hours moving average and then you can see google is just getting bought back up at these pivot points uh three hours of constant buying here happening right this is the sign telltale sign at a significant level at a pivot level as i showed you on the daily interval three hours of support is holding and we are just continuing higher right so that's that all right, let's go to Amazon here. So Amazon, now guys, if you're also following my junior trader dividend investing channel, link to that channel is in the description as well of this video. I have been selling some of my Amazon position that I bought down here, and I have been selling some over here. Why so? Because, well, we are running into some pivotal resistance that's blue box that I provided, but so and with amazon guys i do expect this thing to may hold a support at 20 and 200 days moving average it's a deeper sell-off i want to see if it turns into a distribution phase but these are the last line of defense for the bulls take partial profits in the extensions like the way i am doing 
and again you can do whatever you want but yeah definitely the stop loss for any if you if you are looking to not you know if it's not a long-term position active trading right that's what i'm providing here as information stop loss has to be below 200 days moving over the last line and that partially could be sized out if it continues to fall but i just think that it has a room to continue higher just my opinion though but i do think eventually but let's see on the hourly interval i don't want to get ahead of myself yeah um yeah this is yeah technically it's running into sell-offs yeah not not a good sign though um i i at this point if amazon is not getting about 178 and 34 cents and if it you know continues to lose these levels like 176 yeah again i i expect a couple of days of choppiness on this guys let it you know develop its price action over here um, but I yeah because we have a support sitting down there but weakness upon the top here coming so yeah if you can stay a little bit on the sideline before we get more clarity I think that's the best way to do it all right let's take a look at spy and QQ let's take a look at QQ first today so QQ guys still technically is in the bullish structure over here we still have you know higher highs higher lows and um once we got above 448 there was no problem we are still above the previous pivot you can also see we're getting bought back up at 50 days moving average and just above the previous pivot so technically structure is still bullish on qqq now is there a possibility on intraday weakness well it closed very strong on intraday and so yeah if it continues to stay above 20 hours moving average and breaks out also above 408 and 81 and 39 cents it can just continue higher right now weakness is not there but i would yeah you know that's where I, I have been saying we are in the bullish structure as well right we are still bullish technically and about 50 days moving average no problem even if we lose 474 area we still have 20 days moving average support coming from underneath so still you still have a lot of room to remain bullish and taking a look at SPY, SPY continues to remain bullish, guys. Uh, you can see any pullback to that triple stacked support level just got bought back up, right? And uh, yeah, we are still remaining in the bullish structure. If I also turn on my structural indicator on this, not even as cool of our sell off coming on this. Um, it's just, it's just staying strong still up here and pullbacks are just getting bought back up on this thing still. So nope uh i don't see any concerns right now on spy spy can continue to remain um strong bullish as it looks like it may so taking a look at hourly interval yeah and guys even if we lose like 555 zone this support zone which i don't think it will lose right away we still have 50 and 20 days moving every support coming from underneath we'll see what the price session does there but um right now it's like it's it's a lot of strength and you can see spy why would it fall guys i mean everything is bullish pivots are forming even on intraday continues to go up yeah spy is very bullish we if we step of 20 and 50 even on intraday it's just an upside play all right okay that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like subscribe and i'll see my next videos guys take care bye